sit there all day. Hell yeah. All my sits back to take place. Yeah. January 29th, uh, got King of Cali, hosted by Kyle DePew. Natalia Arm Wrestling Promotions just jumped on. Our main event that day is a big one. Uh, we got Derek Smith is going to be pulling Tim Bresnan. So I wanted to get your reactions on that big super match. I've known Derek for years. I think I met him when he was in his first year. And I've known Tim Bresnan. Who? 15 years, maybe, maybe 17 years. I've known him for a long time. That That's an interesting match. Um, I would think on paper, I think Tim looks like an underdog. Um, I can see the reasoning behind that. But, yeah, that'll be interesting. I'm, I'm very interested in that. How old is uh, Tim? Do you know by any chance? Uh, I'm sure he's younger than I am. But no, I, I don't know. Because I'm assuming he's going to have that old uh, man strength that we're talking about. Like I said, I think I've known him since 2003. <laughs> wow. So he's been pulling for a significant amount of time. Um, I also know Derek Smith been pulling. You know, he's about 10 years in the sport. You know, right. within the last five, his uh, name's really been swirling around and he's really starting to get really known and big time on YouTube. Yeah. And Derek, Derek made himself a student of the sport. He really studied it. He really took his time. He didn't rush things. He didn't rush his training. He didn't rush his style development. He was very methodical and very patient in developing his abilities. That's why I think Tim might look like a uh, an underdog only because Derek is very studious in his approach to his development. It's, and he runs a very organized tournament not tournament practice out there. It's it's the probably the closest thing we have to like an arm wrestling school. Oh, except for the one that Alan Fisher runs or used to run. So maybe Derek and Alan are the only two that run something close to an arm wrestling school in America. <laughs> now, what is the key for uh, Derek to win that? Is it uh, using that uh, that unbelievable height he's got, being six foot eight and all? Well, you know, Tim looks like if he's still doing it, that top roll, that that open arm, you know, open your elbow, lots of up pressure, top rolling. And Derek's hooking, but Derek might have the hand to get a hold of that. Stop that match in the center and let's just see whose elbow's stronger. You know? So if you were a betting man, who are you putting your money on that day? What odds are you giving me? We're going to go even. Oh, <laughs> then I would bet a little on Derek. <laughs> wow. Not so you're a lot. With I, wouldn't bet, I wouldn't bet anything that I wouldn't mind just falling out of my pocket. <laughs> okay. So where do you have, here's a good question for you. Um, where do you have between Chan Shaw, Derek Smith, and Corey West? Can you put them in order from best to worst? Hmm. Man, I haven't pulled Derek in a long time. I would Derek and Corey are very close to each other, and Chance is third. Okay. That's another one I would love to see, uh, Derek Smith versus Corey West. And I'd love to see Chance in that also, maybe like a three-way or four-way. That would be a very interesting one. 